Hi, everyone. It's Mr. Rops here, and we're, we're going to work on set three here with puzzles requiring algebraic manipulation. And here is our equation. Lots of fractions here. And if you remember from last year, a little hint for you is we're going to multiply by the common denominator. But let's get a sense of what this graph looks like. So I'm going to go to Desmos here. I'm going to go to Desmos, and I've already taken the liberty to the left side of the equation is here, y equals 3 halves plus 5, 1 over 5x. And here's the right side of the equation. And I get graphs that are very unique or interesting, not straight lines or parabolas like you're used to, but rather these hyperbolas that are here. And I can see my intersection point is 1.867. And so that is going to be my solution for x, 1.867. And so if I'm going to graph this, here's what I'm going to try and do if I'm going to graph it without my computer. I'm going to make a quick sketch, and then I'm going to go to my... I'm going to draw... I'm going to see what it looks like again. Okay, so there's one that kind of goes like this, and there's one that kind of goes like this, and this here is y is equal to 3 halves plus 1 over 5x. Similarly, if I go change over to purple, I know that there's going to be a graph here that kind of goes like this and like this. And this point here is x is equal to 1.867, and this is y is equal to 3, o 3 over x. How about I try that again? I can do this as y equals 3 over x. And so there's a reasonable solution for me. And it's an interesting graph, but this conveys the information I need. I have my equations, and I have my solution here with the point of intersection shown. So when I do this algebraically, I need to come up with 1.867 to check it. So doing this problem algebraically, review from last year, when I have fractions, I want to multiply by the common denominator. Well, the common denominator this time is going to be, it's going to be 10x. If I take my equation, plus 1 over 5x is equal to 3 over x, I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 10x. And so that means because the fundamental rule of algebra, if I do it to one side of the equation, I do it to the other side of the equation. That, which means every term will be multiplied by 10x. So when I do that, I get 10x times 3 over 2 plus 10x times 1 over 5x is equal to 10x times 3 over x. And then what I can do is I can come along and I can simplify 2. And here it makes this a 5. The 5x and the 10x makes this a 2. Because the x and the x cancels. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And the x and the x cancel. And so then I end up with 5x times 3 is 15x plus 2 equals 30. Subtract the 2, I get 15x is equal to 28. And then I'm going to go divide by 15. x will be 28 over 15. Well, how do I know that this is the same answer? I can do a quick estimate. I know 2 times 15 is 30, which would be 30 over 15. And this is a little bit less, so it seems about right. But if I do a quick calculation with my computer, 28 divided by 15 is indeed 1.8666. And so this is indeed my solution. So this is just a reminder of how to solve this kind of scenario, graphically and algebraically. And I want you to go through, but the puzzles will have more aspects to fill in than this. But I just wanted to review this algebra with you.